Hello everybody, how are you today? Bosun Bear's got a little bit of a sore head. He was at a celebrity party last night and got a little bit squiffy. In fact, he's so popular these days, he needs a bodyguard. Can you say close personal protection? He's also a little bit grumpy because he hasn't had any breakfast. He put all of his pocket money into bank jam. Here it is, raspberry, blackberry and strawberry jam. Number one, triple A rated. Mmm, I bet that's good. Sounds delicious. Oh, but those naughty bankers, they've taken all the jam for themselves. And that doesn't smell like number one jam to me. It smells a little bit more like number two. Can you think of a word that rhymes with banker? Poor old bosun. Can't make a show on an empty tummy. I know, I'll give him seven shiny pennies to buy some breakfast. But what should he have for his breakfast? I know, we'll ask his furry friends. Francois Truffaut Bear thinks you should have coffee and a croissant. That will perk you up quickly and only cost a penny. You'll have lots of money left for having a good time. But a croissant is just full of hot air. After just an hour of reading poetry and womanising, his breakfast lets him down and he's completely exhausted. That's no good. Herman Baring is far more sensible. He's bought some lovely eggs, one for each day of the week. How many is that? That's right, seven. A boiled egg has lots of protein to power his imperialist ambitions. Oh, but oh no, he's put all of his eggs in one basket, one slip and they're all gone. No empire for you, Herman. Let's see what Stebbington Bear is having. He's a dreadfully sensible British bear. He's having a stonking great cooked breakfast with tea and toast along with lashings of extra jam. But not that stinky bank stuff. His well diversified breakfast gives him lots of energy to work hard all day. He'll earn a shiny penny every day so he can have a cracking breakfast all week. How jolly sensible. What a clever old bear. Right then, bosun, we've got a show to make. Can't let all the boys and girls down now, can we? Let's take those seven shiny pennies and invest it in some well-diversified munch. Today's programme was brought to you by the number seven and the word diversification. We know a song about that, don't we? Come on then, bosun. It's a toy bear. Goodbye, everyone. I think that went really rather well. Yeah, okay. <laughs>